everyone. Welcome to Chef Shelly's Kitchen. I know I often say like this is the easiest dish ever, the easiest baked good ever. Honestly, <laughs> I think this one tops the cake. Um, so there are really two basic ingredients and there's some variation to ingredients that we'll talk about. Um, the first thing that we want to do is we do want to spray our pan and I'm using a um, 9 by 13 as you can see here just spraying it down and I'm actually using coconut spray this particular dish is called a pineapple angel food cake so what we're going to do is we're going to take the ingredients um, just the box mix mix really from an angel food cake and pour it in like such I'm going to get this out of our way <clears throat> and then we're going to mix this actually with 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple make sure you have the pineapple juice because that's part of what's the mixture honestly these are the only two things you're going to do to make this amazing cake and <clears throat> i didn't get the sweetened or added sugar i just got this is actually a dull um, version and what all you're going to do is you're going to just pour it in the bowl and again this is where because this is all of our liquids this is everything we're going to use we're not putting any eggs in it we're not we're not putting any of those things all right so now that we have that um we're just going to mix it simply like this and then we're going to put it in the pan and we're going to put it in the oven and that's actually going to be it now the variations really lie in the topping and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you once this goes in the oven and we're going to cook it for 25 30 minutes after that we are going to um, i'm going to help you see a number of different options that you can use in terms of how you want to top it you might want to top the entire thing with cool mint cool whip you might want to just put a dollop on your plate um, you might want to put cool whip and then coconut so i'm going to just show you you know all of the different options that you have some people don't like like coconut me personally i love coconut so that's how we're going to make ours but i'm going to show you how if you're not a coconut person and you don't really want the whipped cream how you can get the whipped cream if you want to just like i said put some directly on the cake or if you want to coat it like an icing okay so it's very fluffy oh my god that's the thing about angel food cake it's so so fluffy and now we're just simply going to pour it in the pan i've preheated my oven to 350 and it's going to stay in the oven for just about um, 20 again 30 minutes i always give you these variations because you know how things are with your ovens my oven might cook faster than yours so that's why you're always going to to look at it and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to check on it right at 25 minutes i'm going to set my timer for 25 minutes and then i'll check on it right at that time now what i'm going to do actually is i am going to let my cake cool completely before i come back on video so we're going to put it in the oven and you'll see how it looks it's going to be a golden brown and um, i'm going to let mine cook uh, cool which usually takes anywhere from between um, 30 minutes yeah about 30 to 45 minutes okay all right so that's all we're going to do that's i'm telling you how how much simpler could it be it's you can get no simpler than this so we're going to put it in the oven we'll be back after it cooks about 25 minutes and after it cools about 30 minutes and then we're going to talk about toppings we'll be back all right so just to give you a sense for the color you see just kind of brown and um and fully um cool now you can eat this and finish this off in a couple of different ways so you could just serve it just like this cut a piece of it 
put a dollop of um, Cool Whip on it and fantastic, wonderful. You've got your dessert, okay? So that's one way. The other thing you can do is you can take the Cool Whip and spread it over the entirety of it, which is what I'm going to do. And you can just leave it at that. Or if you like coconut and um, you actually can now get some unsweetened coconut flakes and it actually, it tends to be a little more coarse than your, your sweetened coconut, but once it sits on top of the Cool Whip, it's wonderful. So that's what we're going to do. So to make this just a pineapple angel food cake, it's done. Okay, serve it, cut it, <laughs> we're good but we're going to take it a step further. And um, so I'm going to just put the Cool Whip on top of it and spread it over it like so. And as you know, Angel Food Cake is very, very light. That's one of the nice things about it. So in terms of your calorie count, it's going to be fairly low because this is a very light and airy dessert. Okay, so we're just gonna, just gonna spread this over the entirety of it, like so. And then once I get all of it in, then I'm just going to top it with some coconut flakes. And then from there, we're going to give it a try. You know we have to give it a try, right? Um, but you know, if there's some other things you wanna put on top of it, you can do that as well. Um, it is pineapple all in the inside. Um, but again, you saw how incredibly easy it was to make. And now we're again, just topping it off with whatever it is you desire. You know, oftentimes I say in my recipes, I'll get people saying, um, can't you put this on it? Can't you do this? Can't you do that? Yes, you can do whatever you want. I like it when you make the recipe your own, right? Whatever you like. You could actually top, put this, you could keep it like this. You don't have to put coconut on it. You could put some strawberries on it. How about that? You can, you can put some more pineapples on the top. Whatever your heart desires is what you can do. <laughs> okay, so that's how I really want you to to kind of look at this dish and not just this, this dish, but any of the recipes that I give you. Um, if there's something that you want to do to make it your own, do it. You know, that's, that's what it's all about. I'm just trying to give you some ideas. All right. So we've got that. And now we're going to just take just some of the coconut, as I said, because hey, you have pineapple and pineapple and coconut. Well, they kind of go together. So, and this is a cake that you definitely um, want to refrigerate. So if you don't put the Cool Whip on it, guess what? You can keep it out. You can put a lid on top of it. You can put aluminum foil on top of it and you're done. But if you put the Cool Whip on it, you do need to put it in the refrigerator. All right, so let's go on and um, I'm gonna just take a little bit and cut a little piece like this. It's so fluffy and I can feel it just as I'm cutting it. Fluffy, 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 so airy. All right, here we go. So let's take a little bit of a bite. You can see again, just fantastic, fantastic. Just a little bite just to see. Mmm, mmm, so good, so good. You can taste the pineapple pieces and chunks in there, so good. All right, I'm not gonna embarrass myself. I'm gonna let you all go. Again, thanks for tuning in. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Click the little picture in the circle and subscribe. I come out with a recipe every other week. Something simple, and we know this classified as something simple. Absolutely delicious and a healthier version, because again, this is really kind of a low-cal dessert. It didn't have the eggs, it didn't have the oil, 
didn't have all the other things in there just a simple angel food cake and you saw the pineapple not the sweetened kind thanks again for tuning in and please share 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 like it let youtube know that yep this is uh someone that i'm following and it's doing great work so thanks again bye